Hi, this is Andrea and welcome to Andrea's Reborn Nest. For any newcomers, thank you so much for um, watching. Please subscribe, please leave me a thumbs up and a comment. That would be fantastic. Um, you for the new uh, for the newer uh, for the older people actually that have been following me for a while. Um, you see me today for the first time with my curly hair. This is actually my natural curly hair. I haven't had time to blow dry it and my husband really prefers it curly. So do my kids. I myself not so much. Um, so to, on, in today's video, um, I have a couple of things to talk about. One is a recommendation on uh, YouTube documentaries as far as reborns are concerned. Uh, I do want to change the uh, my Blake, which is the JC sculpt. I'm still kind of like in the middle of deciding if I want to keep him a boy or make it a girl. Probably a boy though, because I've never changed the sex of any of the babies. And I also want to talk about um, YouTube, the YouTube channels, the way uh, YouTube works as far as um, subscribers and viewers and other things that might be helpful to people that are just starting uh, their YouTube uh, career uh, or hobby. And that's about it. So we'll see you on the other side in about five seconds. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is Andrea. I have David as my videographer here. Say hi, David. Hello everybody. And we have our little Blake here, who is, as you know, the JC sculpt. Um, I have, in the next, in the last 10 minutes, I thought back and forth about changing him from a boy to a girl, and I talked to David about it, and, and we both have decided we're going to keep him a boy. Um, I've never changed the sex of any of the babies, and to me, that's kind of weird and, un and unnatural. That's just me, personally. So I'm going to keep him a boy. So um, I do want to say something quickly about these really cool new diapers I found. Um, as everyone knows, if you know me well or if you've been following me, I'm a complete, completely green person. I don't like waste. I don't like to leave a carbon footprint if it's not necessary. And I don't like to use pampers. So... I've been using cloth diapers, and the ones that I've been using are these Imagine diapers, as you know from my last few videos. Um, I've been, I was looking for another diaper because I was missing one, and so I went online and I was, I, I love these clearly, otherwise I wouldn't have bought them, but they're not 100% what I love because they're too shiny for me. They don't look very eco-friendly. And I think this is plastic, really, which I really don't like. So I came across these. These are made out of terry cloth. And they're by the same company called, you know, Imagine, but they are way smaller. So they fit these tiny babies a lot better. And they have the cloth insert. And they are not as wide as these original ones. Take a look at the, the width between the two. Look at this and look at that. So for these little babies I think this is a much better fit. I wish I would have found these earlier but I think they just came out with these. I think they're brand new. Um, and let me show you the packet. It's if you want to buy them, they're on Amazon. Newborn 2.0 fitted diapers by Imagine. They're like $11, I think. Um, and you need one, and that's all you need ever. Um, so then let's start another, that kind of like, this leads me into another topic that I wanted to discuss. If there's ever anything that I show on my channel that is has to do with the babies as far as clothing uh, products the beds the blankets the pacifiers anything um, I always try to let you guys know where I get these products from 
when I got them, how much they are, so you can look them up and buy them yourself. I've never been uh, of, of the belief that, you know, if I have, for instance, this bed, uh, that this is just my bed to have. Once you go on social media and you make your channel public, um, you can't expect that, you know, like I have this bed, so that means nobody else can buy this. So if there is anything that you like, I've had a couple of um, questions about some of the clothes that I got from Janie and Jack um, and this children's salon. Um, please feel free to ask if you missed maybe the price or the size or where I get the, the items from. Please don't hesitate. To me, um, you know, if you want to buy what I have, that's a serious form of flattery to me. That means that I have good taste and I have no problem with that. So just ask, you know, ask, you know, ask away. I'm always happy to share. And that's what this channel is about. And, um, what? And the community. Yeah. That's, I mean, we want to make this community, like my husband says, you know, it takes a lot of different channels and to make this community whole and as best as it can be, we need all diff different types of channels with all different types of contents. And if everybody was talking about the same thing, it would be pretty boring. Um, so that leads me to um, one of my favorite reborn artists is Bianca Franke. And she has a, I follow her on Facebook and on Instagram, and she has a, there's a documentary out about her and the reborn um, hobby, the reborn community, and reborners. The uh, documentary itself is only maybe half an hour long, um, and the reporter is a young reporter. These are all young reporters that do, do these short documentaries. She starts with meeting a reborn collector, and because she'd never heard of reborn babies, she'd never seen one, you know, up close and personal. So she goes from this collector over to Bianca Franke's studio, talks to her, um, finds out how Bianca Franke works, um, how long uh, these babies take, who buys them, etc. And then she, the third part is when she goes to a doll show. So it's pretty interesting. The name I did, a, I kept it on my iPad for you guys to see, is Reborn Babies Puppen als Kinderersatz. In other words, um, um, what does it uh, translate to? Um, uh, having dolls to replace uh, children or babies. Um, so she's talking about, you know, is that really what these dolls are about and why people collect? So, um, the third and final thing is that I wanted to mention very quickly, to, mainly to new people on YouTube, people that are just starting on the YouTube journey. Um, I have just hit a thousand subscribers. So uh, some of my friends, family have asked me, you know, to do lives and I can't do lives yet because I don't have a community tab. In order to get a community tab, you don't just need a thousand subscribers, but you also need four thousand of four thousand hours of viewing, and and that is within a twelve months period. I registered my channel in October of last year, but I did not really uh, upload my first video until March or April because I wasn't sure if I really wanted to do it. So I kind of you know kicked myself there and you know took six months away f for myself but that's okay um i just looked at my viewing hours and i'm at about three thousand so i need like a thousand more between now and october um before i can go live so um for anybody out there that is unfamiliar with the community tabs or what is required as you go up the ladder on youtube you need not just a thousand um, subscribers but you also need 4,000 um, viewing hours which is really when you calculate it all it's four I think I calculated it as four hours per person that subscribes 
Each of my videos is maybe 20 minutes, maybe at the most 20 minutes. And some of them, obviously, half of them are in German and half of them are in English. So it's going to be even harder for me, really. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I can wait. I have no problem with that. I never even thought about doing a live because it's a little bit scary for me. But if people want to see it, that's what it's that's what it takes. And I just want to let you guys know that it's not that I don't want to do it. Um, it's just that it's not possible right now. And and the reason for that is that I'm still short like a thousand viewing hours. So with that being said, um, I don't know if I showed you guys Blake's head. He has been lying on this plastic now for a few days. Let's take a look what this hair looks like. Look at that. Don't have to comb it or anything. I brought a brush just in case, but I don't think I need to brush it because I really don't want to brush it. The more you brush, the more you're going to tear at the hair and the hair is all glued inside and eventually the, hair, the glue is going to come off. That's just, you know, that's just the way it is. So I want to keep it as long as I can intact so I don't have to get it rerouted because that's a big, that's going to be a big expense and you, you know, you have to find a router that you trust and so I don't want to go there right now. So anything I can do to preserve the hair, I'm, I go for it. So uh, that's it for me for, me for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Please watch the entire video if you could. Um, it's very much appreciated for all newcomers. Thank you so much for giving me a chance. I know you, you have a lot of choices when it comes to you, the YouTube uh, Reborn community. Thank you so much for following me. I appreciate it. And I'll see you again on Sunday. Uh, be kind to one another and let your love multiply. Talk to you soon. Bye.